Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to another exciting tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I am going to use the warping wheel from Picture Instrument, which is a plugin for Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro and Adobe After Effects to color grade my shots. All right, so let's get started. Now here we have a shot that I took two years ago back in Tivoli, Denmark. And I did some basic adjustment to it. I just raised the shadows and brought down some of the highlights. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer because whatever we're going to do is going to affect the layer you are on. I'm going to filter picture instrument warping wheels. Now at first when you first see the interface of the plugin you'll see some kind of familiar wheels right so we have the master the shadows the highlights and the midtones something that color graders are already familiar with but we also have a dial that is just specifically dedicated to the greenery we have the sky we have the skin that we're not going to use in this shot that i'm going to show you how it works in the next shot and we also have a film contrast now if you need some inspiration head to the dice this is the inspiration dice i'll click it once and there you go we have a look i'll click it again and we have another look I keep on clicking until i see something that i like like this for example this looks really good this could be a starting point so this is the before this is the after you see where i'm heading with this now, if you kind of went so fast and you missed a look that you want, you can go back using these arrows, like I think back to 10 looks and yeah, you can select whatever you want and continue the edit. Let's just reset this and start from the beginning, right? Now, everyone has his own workflow. With this tool, I kind of like to start with the metones in terms of grading. So the metones will most probably affect you know these areas over here and i'm going to introduce some warmth in the metones now if i move this of course like this let's have a look at the before maybe bring it more towards the yellow just subtle changes now the slider to the left will allow you to target the brightest area of the metones and the darkest area of the metones this is really good on the fly no hassle here but i'm gonna just keep it the way it was i can also bring up the metones like so or darken the metones like that but i'm just gonna keep it the way it is and you also have two sliders the smoothness it's pretty obvious how smooth the grade affects the photo and the saturation of that particular uh, tone so in this case the met tones all right moving onwards i'm going to play around with the greenery slider so if i move it up there it's going to look like it's fall if i bring it down it will be too green um, if I move it to the right, it's going to be a bit matty, kind of desaturated look. And what I'm trying to achieve is more green toward the yellow effect. I'm going to keep it there. And now let's play around with the sky. So we have the sky here. And if I move it up there, you can see how you know we are affecting the sky by just moving this dial so it's not just the sky that we are affecting when we move the dial it's the blues within the photo and let's just find a sweet spot like so now for the film contrast look at this i can either take it to the left and have this faded look i know a lot of you like this look or i can take it to the right and then you have that high contrasty saturated look I'm just gonna do something subtle here I'm going to move it to the right a bit like so so let's have a look at the before after there you go that was quick okay one more thing let me bring or introduce 
some warmth in the master, the overall photo, something like that. Now let's say you think that you have an overexposed areas in the highlights, you can always go to this slider over here and move it down if you want just to darken that area like so. And voila, we're done. Now what we can also do is save this as a lot or save this as a preset that we can use across different platforms, say Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and so forth. Now I'm just going to save this. And there you go, we have this on top of our layer. This is the before, and this is the after. All right, let's move to the next shot. All right now I'm going to do the same, I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to filter and then picture instrument and the warping wheels. When you open up the plugin, you will have the last preset or the edit that you had applied to this image. So I'm going to reset this. I'm going to head to the dice and see what kind of looks we can come up with. All right, so I kind of like this look. So let's have a look at the before and after. Now, when you do apply these looks, it will affect the skin, right? So that's why we have the skin dial over here. You can adjust the skin the way you see it fit, but I really like this one. By default, this is how it looks. The grade is affecting the skins in the photo. And if you raise that up, you can see that the skin gets protected when you move the slider up. I won't go overboard with this. The original place looks just fine. Let's play with the contrast. I want this to be a bit of a contrasty look. All right, I'm gonna keep it just over here. You can see that with the preset or the dice, you have blue hue within the shadows, but it's only affecting the brightest areas within the shadows. Now, if I bring this down, it will affect all shadows. And this is the darkest shadows. This way, it's only affecting the brightest area of the shadows. All right, let's have a look at the before, after, before, after, brilliant. All right, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. I really enjoy the convenience of using this plugin. It just made color grading easier, more convenient. Now, I wish they've included something like a film grain that would have completed the look, but I'm happy with this because I can add grain in Photoshop or in Lightroom or Capture One. All right, we've reached the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you have any question, do not hesitate. And I'll see you in the next video.